if I didn't uh, release anything uh, this time this because I was very busy to work for different uh, commercial studios but uh, now I'm come back uh, okay so this time we are going to recreate a simple uh, grass a simple uh, snake covered uh, from the grass and uh, from the moss so here I have made a simple uh, render okay and here I have uh, another render okay so as you can see here I try different kind of uh, grass and of the moss so okay so let's jump in Cinema 4D if you don't have the file uh, project or if you don't have a snake or anything uh, you want covered by the moss of the grass in the description I give you the file uh, so just download it uh, before uh, start okay so just jump in Cinema 4D here I have my snake okay uh, okay to start uh, just start creating the um, uh, background so to create the background we can start from a simple uh, Arnold uh, render uh, network shader for, uh, okay here okay and just go to the node mode and just type ramp okay and just connect this one to the beauty and before uh, type uh, any any value you need to uh, you need to create before a physical sky okay and just uh, in this case just copy this value here okay and just uh, paste this one okay and just uh, try to create uh, the same um, color okay once time you have uh, uh, created the uh, uh, color okay just go to the an uh, Arnold light okay in this case okay go to here and just type here to the uh, sorry I can make okay go here as you can see here go to uh, light and select the uh, sky jump light go to main and select a uh, uh, link and in the link just drag the physical sky in, uh, in this case and uh, increase here the exposure to 5 and uh, what you, you should have is uh, this in this something like this okay oh, holy. okay so now uh, we need to start to create our um, our uh, grass so um, go to the uh, go to the face mode okay <coughs> sorry and um, uh, select uh, create different uh, kind of uh, selection if you don't know how to create them I can show you very quickly okay um, oh sorry okay just selecting this way every part of the model you want go here to select and type set selection and uh, rename this one anything you want oh sorry uh, okay okay and uh, Okay, now once you have uh, created your uh, face uh, selection, go here to the selection and go to simulate, uh, add air, okay, in this way, okay, I can 
Okay, perfect. Okay, in this way. So here I just try to work with some um, real scale. So uh, this, this because we are working with uh, an old render and this is uh, an important work to the uh, real scale. So um, keep in mind uh, this, this thing. Okay. So go here and uh, reduce this one to 15, okay? Or a little bit more if you want. This one maybe 200, okay? Just this one type 6, okay? And just change this one to polygon area. Just go here and type to regrow, okay? In this case here and uh, go here just type again here 6 and um, go here to the airs grow noise and just select uh, in this case Luca or anything you want and if you want to increase the global scale maybe 300 okay Uh, go back again, okay, go to dynamics, type uh, custom and just type this one to 3. With the air selected, go to the simulate and go to the particle force and just type turbulence, okay, increase this one to 50, again even this one to 50, okay. Go back to airs and type cache and just type to calculate. Okay, this because in this way we it is more uh, faster. So uh, now if we press play, okay, here we have our mm, uh, grass. Okay, and uh, now we need to create the air. Um, material the grass material so uh, in this case here uh, to create the this is the standard default value of our air uh, okay I can duplicate to maybe show you the difference okay and you can uh, copy the value in this is the value for the moss okay so, oh, sorry, okay. If I go to the thickness, in this case, I have a, a decrease to 0 0.5 and 0 0.1, okay. I have activated the fritz, okay, and just type uh, 50%, this value here, and okay, even uh, kink and uh, density. And if you want uh, a little bit uh, add some uh, band is uh, is good, okay. And uh, in this case, and now mm, just replace, okay, in this way, and just press play. Okay, this is what we have now, okay. It's more um, random. And uh, now we need to increase in the render settings the number of the air. One, two, three. Uh, okay. Okay. Last thing uh, we need to create is the uh, hair, uh, the grass uh, material. So to do this, uh, um, okay, I can delete uh, this one. Okay, uh, create a simple uh, Arnold uh, network shader. Okay, and okay, and uh, I have um, just type this one as uh, RFX. Okay, 
uh, in my first project uh, I had created um, a most uh, a little bit complicated uh, um, node uh, mode okay but uh, you can uh, reach the same uh, effect uh, uh, in uh, different uh, simple uh, way so I show you the simple way so okay <coughs> open the network uh, shader uh, just type uh, ramp okay this one okay in this way sorry just duplicate this one okay and this one maybe should be white okay and just type flat okay duplicate this one okay. and just type uh, simple noise okay increase connect this one to the beauty this one to the input okay and increase the distortion okay and uh, with the flat color we just change the color of our uh, grass so for example I can select a, a both side a dark green okay in this case here and uh, this one uh, maybe could be color C1 uh, this one could be C2 okay C is for the color uh, just connect this one to the color one okay as you can see we can yeah it's changed and this one to the color two okay here in this case we didn't see the difference this because uh, we have the uh, same uh, color so just change here a little bit uh, no, sorry uh, here we can change the color okay and as you can see here we can see the difference so I go back again and um, now create an uh, air material okay for Arnold go here and just drag the RFX okay and just connect this one to the root and to the diffuse and to the specular uh, color okay and now I just uh, apply and just see what will happen okay okay as you can see here maybe we have um, <laughs> a strange color for the grass uh, but it's not a problem we can open again and uh, select a, a more natural color maybe this one okay and this way okay and uh, it looks uh, very good okay and these shadows here are the um, density of the map and it depends of the uh, noise map of the color and I think it's very good and uh, for example here again I can select uh, another here I can create another kind of uh, selection here for my maybe oh sorry maybe this one it's too big and uh, okay. okay I can select here and go to select, just set selection, and this one could be grass 
big, okay? I can duplicate this one, okay? And this one I can rename this one to the grass big, okay? Go to guides and uh, just bring the your last selection and uh, retype grow, okay? Maybe uh, go to the guides, increase the length, so maybe 45. And uh, here, 300. And in this case here, I want to make um, the leaf of the grass. I don't want uh, the moss, so I have changed the kind of the uh, hair. In this case, I only apply the band effect, so uh, I can apply here, and I can just press the render button. Okay. And uh, whoa, we have a different kind of uh, uh, hair. Okay, I can change with another color of the hair. And uh, whoa, I prefer the first one, so I go back. Okay. And uh, if you want to uh, create a curly effect, okay. I can show you here the I can show you here the settings. Oh okay. I have activated the kink, the fritz, twist and uh, wave and curl and okay this is what uh, we have we have um, big leaf and uh, I think it looks uh, very very good okay so uh, this is was a little tutorial mm, was very very quickly I hope uh, was uh, helpful for you and um, <coughs> so and uh, okay. If you have any questions of, uh, or any doubt, feel free to write me on YouTube and if you want you can also follow me on uh, my Instagram page and um, in the next uh, tutorial we are going to see how to uh, use Arnold for the uh, production in this case i want to show you how to create a uh, realistic uh, commercial spot in this case we can open my last work for a mercedes um, uh, okay uh, i hope you enjoy this tutorial thanks for watching and uh, i want to see you the next time bye bye